another cold morning. It's mm. almost 30 minus degrees mm. right now. <laughs> det var gott hel. <laughs> det är så jävla dum. Precis när man kom. Tappade kameran i. This is how January should be. Like this super cold and this clear pink sky and just frost and snow everywhere. It's so beautiful. The hard thing though is that it's so cold to be out with the camera equipment. Uh, like I was out with my drone for a while now and just after a little while uh, it became like a frost layer on the on the camera lens. But yeah, I'll just do my best to catch the beauty of this cold day so that you can experience it if you don't have the same where you live. Uh, I feel alive! Åh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, kolla vad, nu börjar solen komma. Oh, the sun is rising. Time to go and get some wood. It's so beautiful that so many of you have genuinely wondered how it's going with our wood pile. Because uh, we mentioned in an earlier vlog that we don't really have enough wood for the winter. Uh, and I thought that wouldn't interest any of you. But uh, the wood pile is... Uh, yeah, it's going quick now because it's so cold. What do you say, Johan? What do you think of the wood pile? Will it last the whole winter? No, I don't think so. I think that if we are lucky, it will last until March. Mm. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> on the temperature. If it continues to be this cold, it will not probably last until March, mm. but well, we have another option, and that is to use electricity, but that's really, really expensive mm. to, to use. But, I mean, we will survive no matter what, <laughs> but, but thank you guys for wondering. Thank you for caring. Mwah. Imagine when it's summer, and mm. you can just go right out the door in no clothes at all <laughs> and you don't need to pick wood every day easy there <laughs> easy now <laughs> steady <laughs> what are you talking about <laughs> What are you doing? Packing an aurora. Nice. Mm. Good work. So <laughs> we're gonna go to Jonsla and send some packages now and go grocery shopping. Yeah. Once a week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this Daniel is gonna be yours in a while. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just realized if you wonder what this is, it's not me practicing my signature. <laughs> Even if it looks like that. It's, uh, I was gonna scan in my signature, so I did a lot of tests uh, with different pens. Um, but I also do that when I when someone wants a signature or something, it always takes me a lot of times before I feel like it looks good enough. So, yeah. Ta-da! Hey, honey. Hey, Monday morning. Oh, Nanook. I really wish you knew how loved you are by all the people watching you on YouTube. They write so beautiful comments. There was even a woman that is very afraid of dogs, but she would love to just hug you a lot. And that's beautiful. It's really cold today, so we really need to keep this fire alive. Now we're gonna go to the town, Junsele. And... Uh, <laughs> the town. The town. Don't you say that? Because it, it's, not, it's not a city. It's a town. <laughs> Yeah. This is how my hand looks like when it's very cold outside. They just start to bleed without any really reason. 
uh, and it often happens when it's very cold and I'm out taking photos because I need to take my gloves on all the time. It's actually nothing dangerous, it just looks nasty. <laughs> Do you have any advice? <laughs> Stay warm. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit worried that uh, my drone is uh, a bit uh, broken. <laughs> no, don't laugh. <laughs> Because, yeah, I, I drove it into a tree before. What are you laughing about, mister? Do you have anything you want to say to me? <laughs> if I have an advice, <laughs> stay away from trees. Yeah, I know. I, I actually had ha have never ever happened before that I drove the drone into a tree uh, so yeah I hope it will never happen again but now when I drew up the, the drone to film the road I saw that it was like shaking a lot the gimbal uh, and it said the gimbal overload um, and I don't know how the film looked like but if it was very strange and shaky you know why it's because I, I broke the drone today uh, and if so I really need to fix it because I really really love the drone. <laughs> I mean, dr taking drone scenes is uh, its so nice, you know, you see everything from a another perspective and everything just looks so beautiful up there, so I need to, uh, I need to try to fix it when I get home or if it's broken in a way I need to send it in so they can help me fix it and I have no idea how long time that's gonna take. I really, really hate when camera equipment stops working when something uh, broke because you, when you don't have oh, an Asian, uh, uh, replacement. Yeah, exactly. When when something broke and you don't have a replacement, you can't continue your work. Um, that's how you and I met. <laughs> yeah. My uh, camera broke, and what did you do, crazy? <laughs> I had a camera. <laughs> Uh, we had mailed each other for a while and he said Hey, I have a camera, just the one you have, but a newer version And uh, some lenses too, you can borrow it until you have your camera fixed And I was like, what? Is he a photographer as well? <laughs> what had you done? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't just had a camera, he actually bought a camera, a new Nikon D810 with two lenses uh, that he borrowed to me <laughs> but of course then we fell in love so I still borrow his camera <laughs> <laughs> it's yours the first time we met I never mentioned that when I explained how we met but he, he brought that camera uh, home to me and I just hated that situation because I wanted to meet him because I wanted to meet him but then he comes with this camera equipment super expensive and it felt so wrong I, I was like no why do you give me this now because it felt like maybe he thinks I just want to meet him because I want a camera <laughs> uh, well I knew you didn't think that but you understand what I mean yeah yeah uh, so it just felt so wrong because I, I felt that in a way I was super happy because I could continue taking photos but in another way I didn't know how to react because I didn't want to be like oh thank you so much thank you thank you because it would feel so wrong uh, so I had a hard time to, to re react you know I was both like no you shouldn't have done this but at the same time I was like wow thank you so much at the same second as uh, as you left when you left after our first long date uh, I just took the camera equipment and I put it under a table <laughs> and then I didn't touch it for like one or two days because I was like no 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 I can focus on the camera now um, yeah that's how I deal with that so that my camera broke actually led me to something really good <laughs> <laughs> so maybe now when my drone is broken it will also lead me to something really good <laughs> maybe we will get married uh, I want to get married with you we are engaged. Yeah, we are gonna get married this year. But we are not telling you when. You 
Tua. Two years ago, we danced on the ice out here. You should see this view. Oh. You won. Hurry up. <laughs> it's endless. I could be there, I could be in your heart. I could be strong, I could be strong. Sometimes it feels like you happen to be at the right right place. Right, <laughs> right place. <laughs> Can you try to say what I was gonna say? If you know what I was gonna say. Mm, have to be at the right place at the right time. Yes. Great Monday. That's the best thing when you're away and when you come back there's still uh, these, I don't know what you call it, <laughs> so it's easy to make a new fire again. gonna eat some uh, quinoa salad that's my favorite and then I just put in all the good stuff in there oh and there were so many of you that were asking for the recipe for the tea that I made in my last vlog the, the pine needle tea uh, and I answered a lot of you uh, about the things that I had in uh, but I wasn't really following a recipe I just took in whatever I had but what I used for the pine needle tea is pine needles ginger, shaga powder, and honey. Are you hungry, baby? You wanna have some salad? <laughs> I'm gonna make some salad for you, baby. The best salad in the whole world. It doesn't look as tasty as it is. kitchen table. If you are wondering why I'm still here in the kitchen that's because it's too cold for me to be out in the little tiny tiny cottage you know the little candy store that I usually have as an office and studio. I think I've had my computer here now for almost two months and I really want to move back out to uh, to this little cottage because uh, you know I really like it there and, and uh, you know it's separate from home and work I really like that uh, and of course I have my studio so if I'm gonna record something with music I I don't need to disturb you one or or actually I don't want anyone to hear me so I really can't wait to get back there but it's been too cold and I need to fix a better heater or something uh, yeah I hope I can move out there soon uh, but I really like it here as well. It's cozy and it's close to the fridge so I can go and eat whenever I want. <laughs> so now it's almost 6 in the evening and uh, I'm gonna start doing some work now uh, since uh, most of this day 
we spent doing other things but I really like to do that sometimes on Mondays if you have to do things like going to the town or anything it's really good to have done that and uh, for me and Joanne we can choose when we work so sometimes we choose to okay we go to the town and buy groceries and everything like in the middle of the day and then we can work freely in the evening instead that really works good for us uh, so it's really nice to have done a lot of things like that today uh, by the way, I don't know if you can hear this sound in the background. If you can hear it, it is Johan working in the smithy. He's uh, polishing um, because he's sitting just in the room almost next door. In the living room. <laughs> so we have the office in the kitchen and uh, the smithy in the living room. <laughs> oh my god. I. I I'm keep dreaming so much about more space. Um, I'm, I'm gonna continue doing some work now, but before I end this vlog, I just really wanted to recommend something for you guys. Um, I have a friend of mine whose name is Maria. She's also Swedish um, and she has a YouTube channel called All Things Green. Uh, and she also does her vlogs or videos in English. The other day she shared a really um, beautiful and heartbreaking and inspiring video where she opened up and talked about her journey and what she's been going through. And you can rise up and you can become angry at the situation but it can also fire you up in a positive way because if you don't get stuck in the anger you can get angry and uh, like if that lights a fire within you that want, makes you want to fight and that gives you back your hope and gives you back the energy that makes you feel like you are invincible. So I was watching her video today and oh, it was so strong. I was, uh, I think I cried almost three times during the video, uh, but it also left me with a feeling of strength and inspiration and power. It was so so inspirational and uh, I wanted to recommend both her channel because she, she you know she lives in the countryside and I, I thought that if you like my channel and my videos there is a big chance that you also like her channel so maybe you would love to follow her and her journey and uh, subscribe to her channel uh, but also I want to recommend this beautiful video that she did uh, I think she was so strong to, to tell, you know, open up her heart and, you know, tell the truth and yeah, I was, uh, it was really touching. So if you want to see this video and maybe subscribe to her channel, I will put a link down below. So yeah, I just wanted to end this vlog with that recommendation and maybe you have something to recommend to me as well. Maybe you've seen a really good video or something inspiring, just share it in the comment section because I know you guys are really good in commenting and I love it so much. Thank you. Alright, now I'm gonna get some shit done and then hopefully start to edit this vlog so I can put it up tomorrow on Tuesday. That's my goal. If the internet is kind with me. <laughs> Um, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful week and I see you soon. Mwah! Lots of love to you all. You're the best. Bye bye!